This video outlines the latest research into our hypersonic air briefing space plane engine, which is called Aspire. If you are unfamiliar with this concept, I would refer you to our earlier explanation videos, which are available via the link in the top right of the screen. These explain the whole idea and give a backer necessary to fully understand this video. The concept has also been published in a series of peer-reviewed papers listed in the description, including in our latest paper, the work outlined in this video. Very briefly, our concept overcomes the biggest single problem of current engines, which is air-fuel mixing. It does this by diverting the flow away from the main engine duct and then releasing localized fuel, for example, liquid droplets, solid pellets, or gas capsules, and then reinstating the airflow, which engulfs the fuel, thereby dispersing it through the flow and ensuring good mixing. Our last paper included simulations and theoretical modeling, which showed that using this system, the fuel was well embedded into the flow thereby giving good air-fuel mixing. We felt, however, that more work was necessary on modeling the flow diverter system, which consists of a rotating nose cone. To this end, we further modeled and simulated the nose cone mechanism, and this has resulted in a new design, which we feel is improved over the previous iteration. In our previous designs, the nose cone consisted of compression ducts which allowed the flow to enter and closed sections which shut it off. The whole assembly rotated, generating the pattern of flow and no flow necessary for the system to operate. Further simulation, calculation and evolution let us refine this into a new, more efficient, elegant, and simpler design. In this new concept, the outer part of the nose is fixed, and in fact corresponds to a well-established and categorized standard scramjet inlet design. The rotating part of the engine now operates further into its structure as a series of wedges on a rotating collar. The paper listed in the description explains in detail why this concept is better. These wedges rotate on their collar as shown in the animation on the screen. In actual fact, although they have been drawn here as triangular wedges, they could potentially conform to a number of different shapes as shown. As air flows around the wedges, it generates a dead space behind them into which we can deposit the fuel. Now, the fuel is dropped from the stationary engine frame and as the wedge sweeps past, it is engulfed by the flow as shown in the animation on the screen. And hence, we get the same effect as with previous iterations of the engine with the fuel and air well mixed together. One potential issue here is that the stagnant air behind the wedge is very hot. However, there are many different ways of overcoming this issue, some of which are discussed in the paper linked in the description. There are numerous advantages to this iteration of a design, including more predictable results, higher efficiency, simpler mechanical design, simpler testing, lower power requirements, more controllable results and it is simpler to design, test, simulate, and verify. Many of these advantages come about because the flow is slower at this point in the engine, and this makes testing the active part of the machine much easier, for example, with pressure tank generated flows. The next stage of our plan involves testing the central concepts of the engine, which was discussed in our last video. We are also considering making our research and testing open source by supplying plans for our facilities so that anyone with enough dedication can join in. We'll keep everyone updated if we decide to go down that route.